Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I just want to get some feedback on some Raspberry Pi ideas. I'm a little late to the game uh, to get a Raspberry Pi, but I did just order one this morning. Uh, it said about 10 business days before I get it. Uh, now I have a really nice condition Xbox 360 case uh, that I was thinking about putting my Pi in there uh, as well as adding a hard drive. What I was going to do with the hard drive was put it in the original Xbox 360 hard drive casing. And the adapter that you see there, it's obviously a proprietary, but I do have this executor adapter that takes it to USB or SATA uh, for the hard drive. So basically, that just plugs right into the hard drive. Oops. I believe it goes like that. So I'll show you the connection there. Basically, that just sits in there like that. Sorry guys for the bad camera work here. Uh, so that sits in there nicely. And that would be inside of the modified 360 case. And everything would snap back together perfectly. Now, I would obviously take the DVD drive out because the Pi won't use the DVD drive. Um, even though it'd be cool if it, if it could, uh, I would, but I'd, I'd want to keep the front bezel there. And then I started thinking, you know, I'd have my hard drive in there. Uh, you can see the fan. If you can see the connector there, it's a four pin. Um, but if I could get even just one of the fans running, because it's a dual fan, I could have the one closest to the Pi running. Um, and just keep keep them both in there. It's a, it's a one piece unit for the fan. Um, and I debated on incorporating like a heat sink, uh, one, one of the 360 heat sinks for the pie, and I may still do that. I'll have to wait and see when I get the pie as far as how everything fits. Uh, but the 360 idea, the other idea I had was getting one of those USB receivers to use, um, a 360 controller wireless. Um, but I, re I read something somewhere where I've got a, Every time I boot the Pi, I'm going to have to connect to that receiver. So I can't really tuck the receiver inside of the unit, which is what my goal was, to have the receiver inside of the actual 360 case with the Pi, and then just turn on my controller. I don't have any batteries in it right now, but just turn it on, and it would already connect when I turn on the Pi. So that's option one for me is the 360 one uh, I like that I get the little hard drive caddy I think that would be pretty cool um, but I think to make it more portable I'd probably just switch that adapter out so when I connect it to the 360 case that that would be a standard uh, a standard adapter as opposed to this 360 one so that's it for the 360 idea. Um, now I have worked on tons of original Xboxes. I have a lot of empty cases uh, in great shape. One thing I like about the original Xbox case, um, this one does not have a fan, but the fan right here is a five volt fan and I could plug that right into the Pi with no issues. I could just use the actual Xbox fan. Um, with these, with the DVD tray and the hard drive tray, I could mount obviously hard drives, the Pi itself, um, and stuff like that. So I, I really, I'm really digging the original Xbox case idea as well. Um, I could use standard, I mean, these are, if I can get you a good shot there, these are the standard uh, original Xbox controller ports, which I could just turn into USB and plug them into the Pi. So you would just plug in, um, as you normally would, any Xbox controller, uh, which I've never seen the original Xbox controller tested on a Pi, which I will test. Um, but in the event that it doesn't work, what I would do is I have an Xbox connector to USB. So basically, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. It's not really... Here, let me take that out. Take out the DVD tray. So, I mean, to give you a rough idea here, let me fit those in there. We'd be looking at uh, 
basically you would have this set up like that. The lighting's not the greatest and neither is my camera work. And then you would take your, your USB controller, plug it into the adapter, just like that. And then you would plug that into your controller port and it would plug in looking just like the Xbox uh, controller. So the other thing that I was thinking was, because that one would be, I'm running it just down to my Super Nintendo uh, USB controller. So I could design some more of those adapters. I have tons of parts and bits from uh, original Xbox controllers. Uh, so that's another idea. I really like that because it would look exactly like an original Xbox on the front. I mean, the, the whole unit would look exactly because the Pi Power... You know, Ethernet, I could run an extension and put the Ethernet where it was, power right there, and then HDMI and have something 3D printed to fit in where the Xbox AV went, but the HDMI just used a bunch of extension cables. I think that would look really good, really clean, uh, and very easy to work with these cases as well. Um, and just the fact that the controller ports are, are USB. It, you know, they just connect to any standard USB. So, so easy to work with. Um, the other reason why I wanted to do it was I've had this laying around. This is still brand new. I still have the plastic on the screen. So that's why it looks like that. This is the, uh, the Executor 3 uh, XLCD. You can see here. Sorry, guys. The XLCD. And this is brand new, so, you know, I'd have to modify and see if I could even get this little screen to work with the Pi. But that would be cool. I'd like to see if I can get the Pi, I mean, to show my temperature on the front of the screen, or maybe just like a retro Pi splash or something. Um, you know, and then there's a bunch of LEDs built in here. Uh, and there's a red and a green. And then there's also LEDs in with these uh, with these buttons here. So I'd like to get it to light up nice. This has an LED behind it, the X3, um, which I thought was cool. You know, it's the Pi 3, but it's got it. You can tell that it's a three there, and it's going to be in an Xbox. I could just call it the X3 or X Pi 3. Um, yeah, so to have that functional screen, and again, I've got two USB ports down the bottom. So basically four controller ports right there, as well as two, SG, two USB ports right there. Um, if I want to hook up a thumb drive or an external to copy anything, but I'll have lots of room for a hard drive within inside the unit. And what's nice is, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I can mount everything pretty much just to the hard drive um, casing there and still have the, the DVD drive one in there as well. So... Basically, I mean, don't have the top this second, but, you know, that would kind of be the front of the console. Uh, and this is a rough. And lastly, uh, once I'm done with my Pi 3, um, I want to get something rocking for my little guy. So I've got uh, just a NES cartridge here. So that'll be for the Pi Zero. Uh, I know they say the Pi Zero is a $5 computer. Uh, I think it's like 35 bucks Canadian for the Pi Zero and a power supply. Uh, and then I've also got to get all the adapters and stuff like that. So I think the Amazon hub is like 9 bucks Canadian or something like that. So really the, the Pi Zero build for me is about $75 to $80. Um, so I, I, I'm not in a rush to do the Pi Zero build. Um, but yeah, give me your thoughts guys. I mean, if you want to see if there, like I said, I would love to have it where I have a 360 wireless on this thing. Um, but I would love to have the, the receiver on the inside of my unit with the Pi. So if anybody knows if that's a possibility, let me know. Um, or if you like this idea, you know, if I can somehow get this screen working, um, and use all the actual Xbox ports cause they connect to USB and stuff like that. Let me know if you like that idea better. Um, 
Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and have a good day.